So here is the paper. And I get asked frequently, why do I think uh, breast implant illness and explant surgery uh, pose such a, a significant health concern to women? And this is why uh, we evaluated through PCR testing. So everybody remembers from the pandemic, the antigen test versus the PCR test. PCR tests look at DNA fragments. And what we did is we transitioned from routine testing to PCR testing in 2019. All of our samples after February 2019 were uh, tested through PCR analysis using the next-gen sequencing from Microgen DX in Lubbock, Texas. And what that reveals is all of these different, now uh, bacteria, uh, mycobacterium, and fungus can be evaluated more effectively because the smallest amount can be detected through a DNA fragment analysis. Here, this graph shows the example of what we found most frequently, which is QD bacterium acnes. You can see it right here. And then also Staphylococcus epidermidis. That will become extremely important in future papers that we discuss. Now, as we move through the results into the discussion, the results show, as I, I really have discussed in the past, in this uh, series of samples of over 600, there's about a 29% rate of finding this bacterial contaminant. And then when I discuss with patients all the time, I keep it very simple. And the results obviously will vary over time with this, the number of samples that we collect. So I always say about a third of the cases I will find, typically a bacterial contaminant, typically in our experience, which is more of a nationwide experience, as well as accepting patients from Europe and Asia, that those will typically show QD bacterium acnes, but you also see that staph epidermidis is right there. Now, why are these two so important? They both readily produce biofilm. So the bacteria aggregate or come together and form communities which create this protective layer, the biofilm. This can interact with your tissues. And so it's the interaction with these tissues that I've always considered to be the most important because it's like having a prodromal phase or a low-grade infection. And that can basically stimulate your immune system and keep it turned on. So why is that important? So I think there would be very little um, difficulty in understanding breast implant illness if everybody showed up and had a red swollen uh, breast. They would say, oh my gosh, that's infected.